I want to touch on this one thing that I saw online that I thought was really interesting and a really clever article because it I've been thinking about this ever since the, the video dropped right you remember Gal Gadot and that whole imagine thing right um all these kind of a-list b-list c-list d-list whatever range celebrities that they may be will all sing and imagine into their into their you know mobile phones or whatever maybe in the hopes to kind of give us some sort of hope some sort of um good vibes going into this you know pandemic and it went down like a lead balloon in it right so it didn't necessarily garner the reaction that she thought it would garner so or they thought it would garner but it made me think about just the lack of um i don't know what it's called you term it uh the lack of the lack of self-awareness really when it comes to celebrities in these moments and especially moments like this right when for the most part we're all locked in we're all on our phones we're all on social media we all have access to the news um and all that sort of good stuff right you have much you have a lot of information coming at you right to digest that can kind of allow you to kind of glean what's going on you don't really need to understand too much about you don't need to be the foremost experts in you know uh disease and viruses right but you can kind of understand what's happening by piecing together bits of information from various different sources right so this guy comes on there this woman goes on there da, 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 and you can kind of figure out what the what the what the general vibe is so you'd think if you're a celebrity you'd kind of be able to guess the general sentiment or kind of you know gauge the general sentiment of people in general from just being on social right um so to sit there and again for the most part most of these celebrities who are singing are or you know they're not necessarily you know singers in their day-to-day life i think maybe apart from a few of them so there's this weird idea that you know for an actress or an actor to go on a camera and say hey i'm going to sing to you to give you good spirits even though i don't sing myself because just the mere sight of me is going to make you smile is wow that's like some sociopathic shit isn't it right and this article from New York Times really encapsulated a lot of my thoughts that I kind of had on it and really kind of uh, did a much better job of explaining it than I have. But again, it's it's just, for me, it's intriguing because I just think, especially with everything, especially with everything that's going on, you just, you, you would think that now would be the time for really, 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 um, now would be the time for, not, not a sensitive approach but just kitty gloves when it comes to being a celebrity online right you don't want to boast too much you don't want to show your fancy cars you don't want to show you getting dressed up in a million different amazing outfits or your latest haul or what some brand sponsor sent you you just want to keep it a little bit you know casual but some people don't want to do that but this article on new york times really explains it better than i could it's called uh, celebrity culture is burning on new york times the pandemic has disrupted relations among the masses the elites and celebrities who liaise between them it's written by a lady called amanda hess and i'll read it to you now this is the following um america's in crisis but the celebrities are thriving they are beaming into your homes reminding us to stay indoors and stay positive we're all in this together when i watch these selfie these selfie sorry, when i watch these selfie public service announcements i find my attention drifting to the edge of the frame to the understated wall mound more wall molding visible behind robert de niro's shoulder to the craftsman to the craftsman's beams on priyaka chopra's balcony to the equine um, wallpaper framing zoe kravitz cracking fireplace Staying home is my superpower, the Wonder Woman star Gal Gadot reported from her walk-in closet. Ryan Reynolds urged his fans to work together to flatten the curve from within his rustic loft. When Jennifer Lopez posted a video of her family sheltering in the backyard of Alex Rodriguez's vast Miami compound, the public snapped. Well, we all hate you, said one uh, respect, uh, representative response. Among the social impacts of the coronavirus is a swift dismantling of the cult of celebrity. The famous are ambassadors of meritocracy. They represent American pursuit of wealth through talent, charm, and hard work. Which made me think that maybe this whole thing, especially the backlash that they're getting, because I don't think there's been a lot of UK-based celebrities who have kind of done things, you know, who have kind of gone, who have kind of posted something that was a bit out of touch. Or, yeah, not really. As I don't think it's happened. So my one fear in that might be the fact that we have... Um, we have a royal family right so we know so that kind of uh meritocracy thing is in place is ingrained in you in british society because we have a class system right um whereas in america there's this idea that if you pull yourself up by your bootstraps and you make a lot of money and you become rich and famous you too can sit for instance like a donald trump character in the uk would never be 
as well regarded as like a Obama just because of the level just because of the class divide right even though you know Trump could say you know I've got this background I went to school you can't exactly buy yourself into a class in the UK as you probably can do in the US you could probably maneuver and kind of jump into different social groups different sort of settings um, meet different powerful people just based on the kind of moves you make and the friends you have whereas in the UK it feels like you there is a bit of a Truman of a Truman show ceiling on how far you can can and cannot get which is some which, is, which in some parts is quite um it's it's quite uh what i say what would you say is um there is a good part of it is there is positive aspects to that right whereas you don't necessarily you know exactly where you stand right you know your place which kind of sounds mad to say but there is there, you're not you're not in doubt you're not kind of uh, fooling yourself as to where you kind of are on the totem pole you know exactly where you are and it's up to you to decide if you want to go higher you're going to encounter this sort of, you know, mess, this sort of reaction. You're going to encry- you're going to encounter this sort of person, these sort of situations. But if you want to maintain where you're at and just bring your friends up at the same level as you, you can do that too. You see that a lot with um, this new generation of UK hip hop acts, actually. They're doing a really good job of it. I think the past generation, especially mine, um, that came up during the whole garage and grime scene, there was a very, there was a bit of a, a feeling of trying to uh, climb, trying to, acclimatized to the environment that you are in right uh trying to change the way you speak the way you carry yourself how you dressed the music that you make the stuff that you're into just so people could feel comfortable around you but now it seems as if like the kids coming out nowadays they have this idea where they don't care if you feel comfortable around if you're not comfortable or not they're just going to bring their friends up with them and carry on right they're just going to have their friends you know head to toe in black wearing a balaclava you know putting gun signs and gang sign signals and just doing their thing because that's what they come from that's their world that's their life and they want to represent that as true as possible so that kind of helps i think with the with with that kind of detachment from celebrities where like you know you don't because everyone's real around you because everyone is who they are that kind of the only I can the only one I can think of that's that really get idolized that people kind of fawn over are maybe musicians and sportsmen in the UK for the most part. I think so. It's not the same. We don't. I don't think people would. Would people faint if they saw someone from EastEnders on a train? I don't think they would. They'd be excited to say hi, right? It's EastEnders actor. Oh, hey, I know you. You're on my favorite show. But I don't think they're gonna faint. Whereas it feels like you know, in the US, if someone saw someone from Modern Family on a train somewhere in New York, they'd be going goo goo gaga. Right? So maybe that's the whole difference behind it i'm not too sure but let's continue anyway uh, but um the famous uh are ambassadors of the uh, meritocracy they represent america's pursuit of wealth through talent charm and hard work but the dream of class mobility dis- dissipates when society locks down the economy stalls and the death count mounts and everyone's future is frozen inside their own crowded apartment or palatial man's mansion the difference between the two um, has never been more obvious. The hashtag guillotine 22 hashtag 2020 hashtag story is jumping. As grocery hours turn bare, some have suggested that perhaps they ought to eat the rich, right? And there's a video, of course, of Jennifer Lopez posting a video. I think, what's that? Is that one of her kids or someone on a hoverboard in a garden, Thank right? You, sir. Hold the tray. Hold the tray. Right. Hold the whole tray and watch Enjoying it. themselves. What's he doing? He's pouring his dad a drink or something. <laughs> okay, allow okay, that. Um, so when for all, so the article says, so when for all Williams asked his followers to donate to aid frontline responders, they virtually grabbed him by the pants and shook him upside down, telling him to empty his own pockets first. Kirsten Bell, Dak Shepard have been outed as landlords, as Ellen DeGeneres lounged on her sofa, video chat with famous friends, the comedian Kevin T. Porter solicited stories from service workers and Hollywood peons who had experienced run-ins with DeGeneres, whom he called notoriously one of the meanest people alive, Jesus Christ. So, it, it seems like it's open season, right, from celebrities. It seems like the purge is going to attack them first. And again, it's just their own fault, especially the US-based ones. Instead of just keeping calm, keep yourself under the radar, and not, sorry, attracting too much attention, there's this constant need to kind of... Which kind of makes you think, isn't it, right? I thought about it now. They always say, oh, um, the reason why they're always posting or they're always kind of, you know, making up some sort of gimmick because by and large, if you're a celeb, you need to kind of always be, you know, front and center to kind of keep your livelihood going. 
But maybe this whole epidemic or pandemic show has proved to us that the reason why they're doing that or the reason why they're dancing in front of your in front of your phone, um, sort of doing a dancing monkey thing, is because they kind of crave the attention more than they do the actual fruits of the attention. That's the major part of it. Because that's basically what is being famous, right? Now, right? It's being recognized for a thing, right? Being the kind of well known person in your field of expertise or something, right? So if that's the case, then it would be only natural that you would care more about people knowing you are alive, people giving a shit about you, right? Relevancy, you hear that a lot. It's a one word you hear a lot of celebrities say often, right? Relevant, 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 relevant. It's something that keeps them up at night. They don't want to suddenly be that person that no one remembers where someone's like in a restaurant for going, oh, I know you from somewhere, like doing that. No one wants that, right? It's their kind of nightmare. They want to always be known. So that kind of drives them. Um, uh, which is why we have the Gal Gadot sing and imagine into her, <laughs> into her smartphone and then getting her friends to do it as well. Just imagine that phone call if you didn't want to do it. Ugh. But anyway, it continues, right? Um, so the film Parasite in which the poor uh, the South Korean family cleverly conned its way into a home of the rich one has been converted into a well-worn social media retort whenever celebrities offer glimpses inside their own mansions inside their own maze mansion sorry the reference succeeds uh partially because so many super rich people have such blandly similar minimalist homes definitely true um it must be a very hard time to be famous celebrities are not among the very wealthiest in america jeff Lopez is reporting that worth is a fraction of the percent of jeff bezos but they are the ones who are tasked with liaising with the general public offering precarious access to lifestyle celebrity culture glorifies them not just for their performances or personas but for their wealth itself their blowout child child um, birthday parties their car collection plastic surgeries and property ownerships from lifestyles of the rich and famous to my super sweet 16 and keeping up with connections the ability to watch or hate watch this spectacle of excess has functioned as a bizarre uh, appeasement for inequality but this compact rest on the celebrity's ability to seem to move easy between the elite and the masses to be aspirational and approachable at once and under normal circumstances they are accustomed to receiving accolades for using their platform to raise awareness quote, unquote, i love that in the services of bland initiatives for the public is good but our awareness has never been so easy to rouse and misuse celebrities have captive audiences of traumatized people who are glued to the internet eyes darting towards training topics for clues for processing the unimaginable horrors of looming just outside and instead are finding madonna bathing in a rose petal bar student bath yeah that was a mad one so stunts like gal Gadot's crowdsource famous person cover john or john lennon's imagine are tone deaf in more ways than one most uh, uh most of these people cannot even sing their contribution suggests that the very appearance of celebrities is a self as if a pandemic could only be overcome by star power alone which is that's the one in it that's the one that really gets you you're like cool you're gonna do the thing fair enough in it but to enlist just a whole bevy of actors just to kind of and it's not even like this is a i don't know i think that song would have been all right right to kind of send out as a message if this was i don't know a volcano a terrorist attack due to some sort of weird action that trump took right against the middle east right and they retaliated and you know god forbid they you know fucking launched missiles into the middle of manhattan or something fair right your voice isn't being heard this guy is a tyrannical leader he's doing what he wants he's putting our lives in jeopardy blah 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 fair enough sing imagine and get it out there i think people will be all right with it but this sort of thing it's like what because i guess and it also comes off the back of people suddenly getting annoyed by the whole stay indoors thing right so everybody's telling you to stay inside like we get it we know we need to stay inside but unfortunately some of our some of, i guess some general population people are like look our lives aren't our lives are quite are kind of framed around or um influenced heavily by the stuff that we do outside of our workplace right whether it's meeting our friends going to work every day right even the stuff that we don't like to do in terms of workplaces that informs a lot of who we are as people you take that away from us and suddenly staying inside isn't so appealing because we don't have the benefit of you know i don't know hanging out with your maid or with your kids or in a huge place or manager somewhere which again is bad to say because you know I'm not it's not it's not as if everyone that has a bedroom has a house with more than six bedrooms is living a life of blissful happiness but come on man like if i was a celeb and i was summer world and i would be just i would be keeping it i keep my head um underwater or you know below kind of the sight of fear the sight of vision so no one can kind of like hate watch me i just want i don't want any of that energy at all 
and it continues here it says one of the ironies of the moment is that though we feel less like stars than ever um they seem to feel more like us or at least what they think is must feel like to be like us degeneres is going stir crazy quote unquote for having to stay inside her normal home katie perry has lost track of the days that she spent inside her normal home madonna has elevated celebrity um delusion of a kind of performance art in a series of oddly professional instagram videos this is definitely true with massive lights in the back suggesting a perhaps dangerous concentration of staff members in her home she can be seen undergoing a bizarre healing process at her personal health clinic and bending over a typewriter in a kimono uh, pontificating about the social effects of the virus from Madonna performing for the public and holding fans um, in fraud is yet another luxury gone for now she says in one video it's a place is disturbing sensation of normalcy the audience is in is in her house it's not amused by me she says later from the bath she concludes that the COVID-19 is a great equalizer but again, I recommend you check it out. It's a whole entire article that speaks about it. I think it really encapsulates my thoughts really well on it. And um, yeah, it's, it's a bit disturbing to see. But again, I, I just, that need for a tech, like, come on, if, if, you're, if you're Anthony Hopkins, do you really need to be on Instagram making videos to let people how bored you are? Really? You're a legend, man. Like, you're a legend. You don't need to be doing that. But, you know, I don't know. Definitely check it out, though. It's called Celebrity Culture is Burning. It's on the New York Times site now, but I'll link in the show notes for you guys to check out yourselves.